Hi there. Welcome back to our video series of building recommendation systems with TensorFlow. My name is Wei, and I'm a developer advocate at Google. In this video, we'll be discussing a recommendation model, Neural Collaborative Theory, and showing you how to build such a model using TensorFlow 2 core API. We have covered a lot of ground in this video series, but mostly the tools we discussed are high-level APIs, which are made easy to use on purpose. But there are some occasions when you really want to go below the surface and use the TensorFlow core APIs to build a recommendation engine from scratch. This sometimes makes sense, and we're going to show you how today. We're going to build a classical recommendation model called Neural Matrix Factorization, New MF. New MF comes out of the 2017 research paper by He and his collaborators, and it is an instantiation of Neural Collaborative Theory. It is a general framework for collaborative filtering of recommendations in which a neural network architecture is used to model user item interactions. Unlike traditional models, UMF does not resort to matrix factorization with an inner product on latent features of users and items. It replaces the inner product with a multi-layer perceptron that can learn an arbitrary function from data. Architecture-wise, UMF is an ensemble of generalized matrix factorization, GMF, and multi-layer perceptron, MLP. GMF applies a linear kernel to model the latent feature interaction, and MLP applies a nonlinear kernel to learn the interaction function from data. UMF is a fused model of GMF and MLP to better model the complex user item interactions and unifies the strengths of linearity of MF and nonlinearity of MLP for modeling the user item latent structures. UMF allows GMF and MLP to learn separate embeddings and combines the two models by concatenating their last hidden layers. Specifically, starting at the bottom, we have user embedding and movie embeddings. From these embeddings, we generate user and movie latent vector for matrix factorization and MLP layer separately. After passing through the generalized matrix factorization layer and MLP layer, we concatenate the outputs of these layers and get the predicted logics from a dense layer for computing the loss. That's it. That's the whole architecture. We actually provide an excellent implementation of new MF in the TensorFlow Model Garden. For context, TensorFlow Model Garden is a repository for reference model implementations for TensorFlow 2, and it includes more than 50 state-of-the-art models across vision, NLP, and recommendation engines. TensorFlow Model Garden enables taking full advantage of TensorFlow 2 for research and production. It is a community-driven repository with growing contributions, and it's a top 10 Python package with most unique contributors in 2020. TensorFlow Model Garden has an implementation of this architecture. Let's walk through the code to understand how to build it with TensorFlow 2. First, we start with user and item input layers. This is quite straightforward. Next, we call construct model method to generate the logics by passing the user and item inputs. We're going to define construct model function next. In construct model function, we define the user and item embeddings using the user and item inputs. Note the embedding dimension we set as the second parameter. These embeddings will be shared by both the matrix factorization layer and MLP layers, and we will extract the user and item latent vectors from these embeddings. Next, we are going to use several lambda layers to slice the embeddings into user and item latent vectors. To do the slicing, we define two utility functions, mf slice func and mlp slice func functions. As you can see, the matrix factorization latent vectors takes the first two mf dim elements from the embedding, while the MLP latent vectors takes the remaining embeddings. Next, for generalized matrix factorization, we are going to use the multiply layer to do element-wise multiplication. 
For MLP, we're going to first concatenate the user and item latest vectors into a MLP vector and then pass it through several MLP layers. Lastly, we concatenate the matrix factor addition vector and the MLP vector into a single vector predictor vector here and generate the logic from it using a death layer. Then we return the model. Finally, we can compute the cross entropy loss from the predicted softmax logic converted from the predicted logic. So that's it. That's all the code to build the neural collaborative filtering model. Of course, this is just the modeling part. You still need to write code to handle data preprocessing, model training, performance evaluation, and so on. But hopefully, the code walks through here helps you understand how to build a good neural collaborative filtering model. So to summarize, today we walked us through how to build a neural collaborative filtering model with TensorFlow 2 API. You can check out the original research paper and the code in TensorFlow Model Garden for additional details. With that, thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned for more updates from us. <laughs>